Welcome everybody, this is Tori. You'll be renting her for the weekend or week or whatever your trip is. And I'm going to show you around and show you some of the stuff and how it operates and works. So let's start with just coming right to the front door here. First thing you're going to see, and I'm going to switch places with the camera. He has his work clothes on because he just got home. Sorry, I literally just got home not too long ago. <laughs> you're going to have your control center right here. Let me do my little hand. This is where everything's going to be controlled. This is your ceiling lights. Exterior awning light, which is right here. Water here, you have your choice of electric or gas. Obviously, if you're boondocking, you're going to be running on gas. If you're hooked up to shore power, which is plugged into electricity pedestal, you're going to run around electrical. If you're boondocking, you're going to run around your water pump as well. This is your awning, which is right out here, in and out, basically. Uh, please don't leave it unattended. If you're leaving for the day or if you're going to bed, Put it back in. A little bit of wind will take these things away real fast, and they're very expensive. So you don't want to pay for that. So, this is your slide in and out. If you're taking out toy yourself, you're gonna to want to put the slide out after you get the travel 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 trailer leveled up. Then you're gonna run the slide in and out, and you'll be good. Right here is your control board. That tells you your information. This is your batteries. Right now we're at two thirds capacity or actually on this one it says 11.7 volts so you're pretty good right there fresh tank is empty black tanks empty there is only one black tank but the other one gray tanks are both empty as well so all your uh wastewater tanks are empty as well as the fresh water tank okay another thing to show you electricity right here you have a pop-up pedestal and you'll see you have plugs these are 110 you need any to be plugged into shore power and you have your... Uh, or on your generator. Or generator, if you're taking out the generator. I call that shore power as well, too, but generator, yes. You have your USB charging station ports right there, too. And you'll find those throughout all the RV. I'll try to point them out, but there's a lot of them. Just put that right back down. Fire extinguisher right here, just so you know. This is your CO2. So that's your detector right there, and your propane leak detector. So if there's a leak of propane, that'll go off as well for that. All right, let's head on over to the kitchen. <clears throat> you do have this flip-up, handy little flip-up. I'm not going to lock it, but it does lock. When you're put, before you put the slide in, please return to the downright spot. It will clear the slide, but I'm afraid when it's bouncing down the highway, it's going to hit the table and make some marks. So make sure it's down for transporting. Your sink. Pretty nice. It's got the little handle thing. Spray head. Obviously, it works like a normal sink. So pretty, pretty easy function there. You got storage here, everywhere. Microwave. It will only work on 110 power, so you do have to have it plugged into the shore generator. And it's a pretty good size microwave. Works just like standard microwave, so don't really need to explain that. Cook stove. This is propane powered. When in transport, make sure the glass lid is locked into place. When you want to use it, make sure you flip that glass lid back out of the way before you fire it up. To fire this bad boy up, you'll simply want to turn it to the desired burner on high and then start clicking this bad boy right here. And that's the igniter. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And that works the same with all those except for the oven part right down here. And there is a light in there too. It lights up the rings and it lights up inside the oven. Really great for a nightlight if you need one too. Down here, you have to come in a little closer. Right back here is the pilot. And what you're gonna do for the burner is you're gonna turn it to the little flame insignia, push it in, and then start turning. And you'll see it sparking back there. There it goes. There it, it hasn't been lit before, so this is the first time I think it's ever been lit. Once it stays lit, turn it to the desired heat temperature and cook just like you would anything else. When you are done, turn it all the way back to the off position. Do not leave the pilot lit. Um, they don't like that. Right here is your fuse panel and breaker box. 
So this is breakers for anything that's 110. You'll see AC1, AC2, um, and things like that. Microwave, water heater, and etc. There's also fuses over here, and we will include some extra fuses that will be in that uh, container up there too. All right. You see out the drawers right here. We have some utensils in there. I don't know if you can see that. That's included in the package, the, uh, what's that called? Home Away? Home, home Away from Home package. Yep, that's all included along with this stuff right here. Okay, moving on. Your refrigerator, it does have a nice good size refrigerator. And there's more controls, the controls are right up here now. There's an on off button so you can completely turn it completely off. And there's this gas auto button. You turn to that, it's in gas mode. If you put it in the auto button, if you plug it into shore power, it'll automatically switch off the gas right to the electric unit. And there's a little warning light right there. It says check. If you run out of propane and you're on gas, it'll kick that light on. Just have to turn it on, turn it back off. Oh, I made a check right there. And you'll be good to go again. Uh, make sure when you go to travel, you heard that click. Make sure you get that nice little click. And that makes the door shut. I love this feature. We put this little handy dandy string on there to help when you're traveling. Pull that up. You know, it needs a handle right here, doesn't it? We're going to add a handle right here, folks. It needs a handle. This is the pantry. Let me open this up. Our water fell down. Oh, sure did. You'll find all the other items that we include with the Home Away Home package, including a coffee maker. Keurig. Keurig, yep, the best ones I hear. Uh, also, it only works on 110 as well, so you do need to be plugged into the Jenny or to Shore Power. You'll have your extra towels, pillows, some pans that you need. Uh, you'll have all this wonderful stuff right here. There's this one. And there's this one right here that has what what is that sugars and coffee stuff in cups. it. Coffee cups. Everything you need for coffee and cups. Sleeves. And I think there's even some uh, creamers, sugar. Well, isn't there some hot chocolate in here too? Yes, once more? there should be. Okay, Sometimes. for the kiddos. Yes, mm -hmm. some hot chocolate. Okay, awesome. In winter, I usually try to put hot chocolate in there for yeah, the kids. Yeah, there may or may not be hot chocolate, <laughs> depending on the type of season. This does when. You just turn this little knob back out of the way like that. So it's just flip it back. And when you're sitting, it has a magnet that'll hold it shut. When you go to transport it or bring it back home, oops, you can just pull that right out. So be careful. You want to make sure you get that locked back down in there like that and that'll hold it shut for transport. The TV, obviously, only works on 110. The radio should work on 12 volt, but we have not tried it out. I do not know, actually. I'll have to check that out and find out. But it does have a radio there, and there is connections right here for plugging in your phones or DVD players or anything like that that will work through the TV. Up here we have some paper towels. And down here is your remotes. I do believe that is for the TV. And I will let the customer, I will let you guys figure that out. <laughs> this is for the radio. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I like electronics, but not that much. And this is for the fireplace. And obviously, this will have to be plugged in to 110 as well. Does it even have a battery in it? I don't know. It needs 110. We are plugged into shore power. No, we're not plugged into shore power. Sorry. No, we're not. We're not plugged into shore power. I just unplugged it. That's why. Okay. So that needs 110 as well to work. <clears throat> Back here we have the bunk beds. They also have their own privacy door right here. Simply snap it open. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> when traveling, snap that sucker back so it locked in place. Two bunk beds, obviously, right here. Self-explanatory, they have little lights right here. Boom, boom. There's your plug-in ports for your USB stuff. Seen down here is another set, and there's another light right here as well. 
Then you have more storage right here as well. Closet. Closet, right there. Sure. <laughs> is this broom staying with this unit yes. or are we getting a different Okay, so you have a broom that comes with it. You have your two reclining chairs. Pull up. You're a mess. <laughs> Thank you. And you just cleaned this too, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I did. Push down, locks it in place. Now I have to clean uh, it again. <laughs> sometimes, if you're a smaller person, you're going to find it. You got to slam that sucker pretty hard to get to lock. Goodness, sorry. There must be hangers in there. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is the bed. Obviously, you'll pull these up somehow. Well, I'm not going to do it, but it'll go down. It lands right here. Then you use these side cushions to fill in the void, and there's your other bed. You have storage bed. right here. That's their dressers when they're yeah. using yeah. behind up yeah. there. There's <laughs> there. And if you need to, if you're going away from a longer extended period of time, if you do need to, you can lift that up, and you'll find even behind there there's a little more storage. I don't think you'll need it, but there's so much storage in here already. Just in case. There is a little bit of extra storage right there. Okay. Bottle opener. Just for the heck of it. Just for fun. Yep. <laughs> this is the controller. It lights up as soon as you touch it. You do not need to jam it. Just kind of pull your finger across it like that. Push a little bit and pull your finger over it. And I'll cycle through. So there's the fan. So that'll turn on the fans that'll blow air out of right here. And then you can select, and there's your AC. This is your temperature changer. Obviously we're not plugged into shore power, so it won't work. Oh, sorry, I went too far. The furnace will work on 12 volt. So you just run it up to your desired temperature and it will kick on. If you wanna know the temperature inside the unit, turn it all the way to the off position and hit the button. It's 82 degrees in here, it's nice and toasty. <coughs> Another door right here for the bathroom. Same function. You can leave it unbuttoned when you're not traveling. Yeah, just make sure it's snapped when you're traveling. We're just leaving it in the ready okay. position. Come on in here, there is a light up here. We have it on motion sensor, but you can turn it off. So there's on, off, motion sensor, which is pretty nice. So when you get in the middle of the night, it comes on. I didn't know it did that. Yeah, it <laughs> took me a second to figure out how to turn it on. I'm like, wait a minute. Fan right here, and you just turn this little knob, and I'm gonna close this because it shouldn't be open. And there's a little button right here that you push to turn your fan on. Okay. Okay, shower. Does have this little ring for transport mode. Snap that open, push that off to the side. Now you can close your shower door. You're ready to shower. Shower pretty much operates like a normally functioning shower. around here another 110 plug sink extra toilet papers we'll have right there more storage another light right here that's push button controlled right there more storage right there more toilet paper more towels oh and the bed which is not made at the moment sorry don't it just came me. back so it literally just came back today <laughs> So, we are getting ready to wash everything. Another door, same function, snap, pull, good to go. Over here, another controller. This side right here is AC control only. There is no furnace, even though when you cycle it, it will show a furnace controller. There is no furnace on this side, so it's only AC. Light switch, and you can turn a lot, not these ones, so you can turn some of these lights off individually. Oh, right here. You'll see there's two lights above the bed. Little push button right in the center. Boom, reading boom. Reading lights. Yep, reading lights. More storage there. A couple little cubbies right down here behind my hand. You can see the opening. More storage up here as well. The shades are pretty self-explanatory. Just pull them down, pull to release them. I like this shade right here. Actually, I noticed on all these shades, these little knobs, they move from one side to the other. So if it's all the way over here, you're laying in bed, you can pull it over here and pull it down. See, you know, there. So now it's where you can reach so you can it from bed. You can be lazy and not get yeah. out of bed. Mm -hmm. Same with this one. If you're on this side of the bed, you can pull it over here to you. And 
I'm gonna release it. There you go. I'm putting it back in the center. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I think that covers everything on the inside. So, have a great trip. We'll talk to you there.